Hello and welcome fellow Vikings to episode 18 now of the Valheim Let's Play Survival Series. And this one is going to be a bit of a special one for you all. I know in episode 17, my brother and I took out Bone Mass. And as promised, I told you that I would show you around the lake town slash fishing village that we have been building slowly over the last few months. So without further ado, let's get into the showcase. So I know you guys saw a little bit of a sneak peek in the intro there where I came along this long path here from the Black Forest and Swamp area right back there. And that leads us right into the entrance of our little fishing village here. And we do have a fueling. Oh, we got two of them. There we go. There's one. And we got another one here. Let's see if it'll see if it'll do damage to the fueling to pull the obliterator. <laughs> I don't think it did, but uh, that, that would be funny if actually pulling the obliterator would do damage to a fueling. But I think I'm gonna try to range this guy because he is a spear thrower and we don't have a crazy amount of health right now. So let's see here. You know what? I'm gonna trust that he's gonna stay over there for a little bit. We may be interrupted in the middle of our tour, but. Without further ado, on the left here, we have a little forge and crafting bench, essentially just to repair some things on the outskirts here. And I have it placed in a bunch of spike walls just to protect it from feelings who are trying to enter because this village is in the plains now. Um, we are upgraded enough with our gear after fighting bone mass and everything to officially be in some of the plains on the edges. The bigger plains are right across the water over there, but that said, this location is absolutely gorgeous. We have a little bridge here uh, that we made that just enters right into the watchtower here. And we have a little like fishing outpost and there will be much more of these. This is very, very rudimentary. Um, the very beginning of what we have planned for this lake town. So we do have the double uh, secure entrance here and once we're in we do have another little fishing dock off the back here with some stairs into the water just a little fermenter um, just to kind of add that aesthetic of a nice little barrel kind of sitting on the dock maybe some fish maybe some delivery from a boat or something We've got a nice little awning look out there and then we come up the stairs here and obviously have the amazing full 360 degree lookout of the watchtower. Um, so this will allow us to see from the plains, to see out toward the water there. You can see those islands uh, right ahead. We will definitely be building a bunch on those islands as well. It's going to be a full Lake Town fishing village, very spread out, lots of buildings. It's gonna be quite cool. So yeah, so full lookout up here. And then heading back down we have the main entry now coming right into the main road of Lake Town. So essentially to the right and to the left right here, there will be many more little dock houses, bakeries, fishing huts, lots of little things um, that will just kind of add to the village, um, kind of the outskirts here. And then going farther in to the right here, we just have a lot of temporary stuff. So this will essentially end up being a big forge and crafting room. And then to the left is my brother Soulgazer's house. And he has been doing some great work on the inside here. Um, this couch actually was one of his designs. So it's full of stools and signs surrounding them. So it's a nice like little corner couch there. And I actually used some inspiration from this one on my mountain house, which another sneak peek that will be in another episode as well. We have started building a little bit in the mountains, getting ready for the Christmas and holiday season. So with that said, though, he's got his nice little bar over here, nice little fire, a nice balcony with the eating and everything. And he still has a lot of work to do on the interior here. Um, but I am about done with the interior on my house. So my house is Essentially the same as his house, just mirrored uh, and tilted slightly. So in between the houses here, we do have a little walkway. Uh, I kind of placed a little axe, a shield, a little uh, bucket full of twigs. 
uh, which was basically made by placing abomination trophies in the bucket here. And a nice little chest for some dump stuff, some rocks, essentially just like a little uh, alleyway going out onto the dock where we do have the first boat over here. Uh, and then this dock fully connects both of our houses, so from back deck to back deck, we do have a full walk around. And now we are entering into the back of my house. And as you can see, we do have the workbench and forge uh, out back there. I have now the kitchen, so entering in the back here. This is the way I designed my kitchen with a little bar here, kind of wraparound kitchen design. My table is inside, and I have a little couch that is slightly different, um, which I may actually change to be similar to my brother Soulgazer's couch. Um, but I use, like, Queen's Jam for the little legs of it, and it makes it look pretty nice, so... Yeah, so that's the lower level of my house. Um, looks like I actually have some mead that I'm ready to tap. There we go. New item, tasty mead. So I brewed that to uh, get some of my stamina to uh, regain a lot faster. So I've got my thing for mead, all my uh, food uh, ingredients. So anything that's stamina and health, just stamina foods just health foods, and then complete prepared meals I have in these chests underneath the stairs. And then obviously going up the stairs, uh, which is a really compact, awesome design, kind of using the slope of the roof uh, to come up here. We do have the nice windows, a nice little desk, and a nice window overlooking the gardens, which I will show you guys in a minute. And this is my little bedroom. So for Soulgazer's house, it is going to be pretty similar. He does not have anything done to his upstairs just yet. Um, but it will be fairly similar. And then a bunch of storage um, where I could fit it. So a very, very effective house. Very beautiful and effective. Endgame compatible, except for the oven. Um, but we will have an oven in a separate bakery and everything. We can't even build the ovens, though, yet, because we have not taken on motor, so... That will be in the near future, but we're kind of planning it in. And then out here, I walk through here, and this is my back deck. So rather than having the eating on my back deck, I have little stairs down to the water. And I have a nice little hot tub over here. And when that is fueled, I do have max comfort in my house here, which is really awesome. Um, max comfort as far as I can get it here. Obviously, if I put the Yule Tree in and the Maple in, I will get more comfort, but those are not craftable just yet. So with that said, we come out here and we walk through the gardens. It looks like the onions and carrot seeds and turnip seeds are all ready to harvest right now, but that's essentially our system here. We have onions, carrots, and turnips. Uh, and then we will be farming some flax and barley in the plains just across the way. Be able to take this boat back and forth. Uh, and this is another little dock that will probably be very expanded. Um, that's kind of just for fishing. So a little bit of decoration that we're starting to do to kind of add to the vibe here. And we do have our bees and honey. Um, so that's really awesome right back there. This road will continue right into the main the main big building of Lake Town, which will be kind of a cathedral and watchtower on top of it that's kind of a big one, maybe building like a little crossbow up there or something. Um, and that will kind of tie into the harbor, which will be right here. And as you can notice, we've got a little something going on in the swamps over there. So I'll take you over there in just a second as well. But we will have the big harbor here and it will be kind of nestled into here so we can sail the boats in here. And then obviously that harbor will continue into the blacksmith and bakery and everything else that we'll be doing on this side of the main street of the fishing village. So yeah, there are definitely a lot more plans uh, for this fishing village, but I figured it's far enough along where I can inspire you guys with a bit of uh, sneak peek and next episodes might be some more building on it because I have had some requests in the comments to showcase more of the building at slower pace so you know what I think that's a great idea and I will be showcasing more building and techniques and all of that as these episodes go farther along because I'm nowhere near ending the Valheim Let's Play series this is a lot of fun and I am inspiring many people I'm so glad you guys are liking this series so far so yeah, continuing on this path, we're in the Black Forest right now. And then, 
we have what would be beginning to be Swamp Harbor 2.0. Uh, I know it had Swamp Harbor 1.0 in a few episodes ago, but with the relocation, this will be the new uh, Swamp Harbor. So as you can see here, this is quite the feat of architecture that I've been working on for a long time. It's extremely rudimentary right now, um, so I will be doing a future episode about this. But I'll just give you a tour of what we have so far, just so you can kind of see the progress through that, the episodes. So we do have a nice big fallen tree here, and these are the ancient trees, the big ones that we cannot cut down with the axe. Uh, so it kind of almost feels like a little hobbit entrance here, uh, nestled in between the trees and the ground. So we do have a nice little pillars here. It goes right out to a beautiful little back patio, which will eventually tie into the harbor and a big lighthouse, which will actually go on that little plains island right there. And then we do come right up these stairs, and we have a nice little lookout right here, uh, kind of nestled into the tree to be able to kind of watch the boats coming in and out of the fishing village. And then right up these stairs right here, we have the potential for two rooms, one on this side, one on that side, and kind of this open area here. And then up both sides here, we have mirrored staircases that wind right around. If I can get up here, there we go. Sometimes I get a little stuck on that tree there, but usually ends up working out. And in this one, we have not done any interior stuff on these yet. We've just been trying to design a solid roof design and then taking this amazing Corwood Bridge inspiration for doing all the bridges between these little tree houses. So we're still not quite sure how this village is going to expand. It's going to be a full on like little tree village Ewok themed. Uh, we're probably going to uh, build a bridge right across to that tree and just continue all the way across. It looks like I'm being shot from the ground by a skeleton or a jogger. So let's go take care of that guy really quick. <laughs> the beauties of building in the swamps. We do end up getting very targeted. Looks like it's this guy over here. There we go. Alright. So yeah, and then on this side, we're not quite sure, but, you know, there's a lot of potential in this area of the swamps to kind of do a little cave house in there or whatever, but I love how this land just kind of builds up, making this house and harbor area uh, kind of nestled perfectly in between these two trees with that cozy little entrance um, right below it. So, such a cool... Uh, potential for the swamps there and a lot to be done in this black forest as well probably a lot of cool little cabins and everything like that so to give you guys a sense of where we're located uh, if I pull up the map here all the previous stuff was right over here um, and the seed is builder all capital by the way if you guys want to have the same seed so we do have the trader just sailing distance right over here uh, elder, bone mass, it's it's amazing seed. We have a bunch of plains and a massive mountain biome that continues all the way around. You guys can't see it right now because I haven't actually explored the whole thing, but you can see it's quite huge when we're up there. So this is where we've started building some mountain cabins, um, but those will be for a future episode. And in the meantime, this is Lake Town. We have a big canal that goes all the way to this side of the swamps. Uh, which is big ocean over here and ocean over here. So it's quite an amazing, amazing, beautiful location. So we'll do a lot more exploring in other episodes as well. Um, because a lot of this, because it's a new seed, kind of relocating some of the things from previous episodes, um, this is the final seed. We found literally the best seed that I think I could ever find. So you guys will be seeing more of all of this and then yeah essentially just decking out in between the houses with lots of little docks harbor areas it's gonna be quite an amazing little fishing village so with that said next episode will probably be a bit of building um either in the swamps over there or in lake town or in the mountains depending on when i actually get around to doing that episode but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys took some inspiration from these two lake houses that we have finished. And these builds do take quite a long time. Um, first of all, we do have to be finding some tar. 
Um, so we have been going into the edge of the plains. There's a few tar pits right in here. Um, and killing the growths every time they spawn to get a few tar for roof panels. Yeah, I hope you guys are inspired by some of these builds. And that's the plan as of now for how we will be expanding this amazing little fishing village. And with that said, I'll see y'all in episode 19. Cheers, Vikings.